Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. I've never played a Dragon Quest game before, but a couple of them have looked really, really fun. This one just released in the West today. It was available in Japan for like the last year or so, but it looks really, really cool, so I'm excited to give it a try. I don't really know too much about it, so you guys will have to let me know if you want to see more after you watch this first episode. I definitely want to do like four or five episodes to test it out and see if it's good. But before we get started, I do want to give a quick heads up that this game is rated T for teen. From what I saw, it seems like a pretty team appropriate game, but of course, if you are worried or curious, be sure to check out a trailer of the game to see if it's right for you, if it's a good fit. Well, with that being said, let's get started with Dragon Quest XI. I have no clue what's going on. Is this like in space? Oh, no, it's not. It's this little invisible blob guy. Oh, he's so cute, sort of. Uh, it's hard to get a good look at him. No, oh, watch out. <laughs> Nobody can see him. I hope he's gonna be okay. I don't even know what this guy is. I mean, he sort of seems a little sinister with like the, the red galaxy he has within him. <laughs> oh, this is like a cool little town. Everybody seems to be having a good time. It's a time of peace and prosperity or something like that. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, he's visible now. Oh no, the, the dark storm cloud is never a good sign, especially over the castle. Oh. I don't know if they have weathermen in this world, but maybe he made a improper forecast. So I think this thing is pretty much bad news. I think we can say that much. Oh, it's the king in his court. This child, he is the one. There's the mark. There's no mistaking it. Oh, he's so cute. Oh no, there's that little guy again. Well, this doesn't seem good. I think something bad's about to happen. Oh no! Oh no! What are those things? So I guess they're after the baby right now. Whatever those monsters were. Well, those are some creepy looking horses. Oh, and there's no heads! We're all headless horsemen. Oh, no, no, no. She got caught, no! That's so creepy! But what happened, are they okay? Guess it's like the morning after. The weather has subsided. Oh, the baby's okay. Well, that's good, but what about everybody else? Aww. After that awful storm, too. However, did you survive? <laughs> You're a jolly one. What's this? You poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. No. At least the baby found somebody. Wait, did the baby fall down that waterfall? There were two waterfalls. How did the, how did the baby survive that? It's supposed to be one tough baby. Okay, that was a really interesting start. I actually felt like the opening to like maybe like an anime or something. I don't know, it was cool. 
So what's going on now? Like, who do we play as? Several years later. Be interesting if this is an RPG where you just play as a baby. Oh, so this is the baby growing up. There's this design on his hand again. Oh, I didn't realize that the tree was floating. Oh, that's really cool. How, how many years is several years? He looks like he's at least like 14, 15. Oh, hello, oh, that's a cute puppy. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Oh, I didn't realize it's gonna be voice acting. Cool. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're gonna be climbing all the way up there. Well, that actually seems like quite the climb. I don't know, are you gonna be careful? Hmm? Is the dog gonna climb too? Where's he going? <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Or maybe she. Come on, best not keep her waiting. All right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so what's the point of climbing the rock? Is that like some kind of, I guess it's like a ceremony. Oh wow, cobblestone tour, the base. Oh, this game is so pretty already. I really like, oh gosh. She just teleported right next to me. She was running off over there before. Okay, so I was just messing around with the settings real quick. Let's get started with this. So I can't go this way, right? Hi. Hold on there, young zebra. Where do you think you're off to? You haven't been up to the to the tour yet, have you? It's back the other way, as, well, as you well know. I don't want to see you again till you've climbed it. All right, all right. So one thing is pretty cool is that, of course, I played a different Japanese RPG earlier this year called Nino Kuni 2. I had a lot of fun with that. I do want to finish that game sooner or later, but I don't know if this will be just the same. It looks like some people have like the little blue one. Oh no, okay, I thought some people would have the gray. Anyways, uh, the path gets pretty steep with the tour, so be sure to watch your footing, but don't let that make you stick to the beaten track. Little detours are where you find all the fun stuff. Okay. To think you and Jim are all grown up already. I can remember you two little little ones <laughs> hollering around the place, causing trouble like it was yesterday. Ah, oh, time flies, it really does. Uh, I want to talk to everybody I can and get some info about this world. So it's time for you to head up the, to the tour I hear. Mind you, don't slip. It's a long way down. <laughs> well, thanks. Oh, don't worry. Zebra would never let me fall. Ah, oh, what would it? What would you do without him, huh? Well, Zebra, you heard the lady. Make sure she comes to to no harm. All right then. <laughs> Hello. The symbols on the side of the tour represent the spirit of the land. You know, the spirit has always watched over the people of Cobblestone. Okay, I do see the symbols, yeah. The coming of age ceremony is one of the ways we show our gratitude for its protection. Okay, looks like we have to talk to this person. Mind how you go, you hear? You know the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't you keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you ever if you're ever in need of, for, for, of some advice or you're stuck to what, uh, for what to do, have a chat with the folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. My fourth wall is broken. Press square and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, press R to change the direction you're facing. It's a handy little trick. Trust me. All right, so, okay, cool. Uh, what about you, sir? We've all been through it, you know. We've all climbed to the top of the tour. I remember it like it was yesterday but I can't tell you what I found up there. No, that's something you'll just have to find out for yourselves. All right, so uh, anything else around you? Maybe like some hidden little secrets? I know I'm sort of dilly-dallying, but this is, I really like taking these kind of games super slow, sort of absorb the world a little bit, have some fun with it. If you've seen my Nino Kuni 2 videos, you'll, you'll sort of get the same idea, I think. You know, I'm not sure I've seen the two of you apart and think you're all grown up already. Is that wedding bells I hear? Hee <laughs> hee. Grandma, honestly. Oh, let an old woman have her fun, will you? Now, Zebra, you look after my lovely granddaughter, you hear? Will do. I think her name's Gemma? I don't think it's Gemma, I, th I think it's Gemma. Hi. Good luck, Zebra. <laughs> Some of them don't have much to say, but that's okay. The game is super duper crazy pr pretty so far, though. I like it. I wish I was a grown up like you. I can't wait to climb the tour. All right, well, soon enough. Hello. Oh, these are parents. Oh, maybe. He looks much older now, it's been a couple years. Zebra, seeing you and my dear Gemma all set for your big day makes me proud as anything. Oh, maybe not. Both as a mayor and as a grandfather. So he's the mayor. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now, and that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. 
Now it's time you were on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Now, and if, you, if you're ever unsure what to do next, try pressing triangle and selecting party talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Oh, cool. Just look at you, Zebra. My little boy, all grown up. Now, be sure to look after Gemma, you hear, to think. You've been inseparable since you were tiny, and here you are about to climb the tour together. Oh, and if you ever lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. <laughs> I can see Sandy like, come on already, I gotta pee. <laughs> Off you go now, dear. I know you, okay, um, and I'll make sure that there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. All right, well, thank you. All right, I'm coming, Sandy. Looks like you're running off, though. I like how Sandy guides you. There's a lot of cool little ideas in this so far. The path ahead will at times be a steep one, but fear not, my children, for the spirit of the land shall watch over you. May you climb, uh, may your climb teach you how truly blessed we are to live among such beautiful surroundings. We will pray for your safe return. Okay, what about you? Cool, just look at that view. It's beautiful, isn't it? Whenever you find somewhere with lo lovely scenery like this, you should take the time to stop and bask in the wonder of nature. It always does does me the power of good. I do indeed. I think that I just want to show off how good the game looks because it looks really pretty. I love the, all the like the green vibrance to it. Hi. Oh dearie me, where can that boy can that boy have got to this time? I hope he hasn't decided to go up the tour on his own. No, he wouldn't be that stupid, surely. Ah, uh, he'll be the death of me, that one. Oh boy, is that like a side quest that we can figure out later, maybe? Hi there, Sandy. Oh, what's happening now? I'm not sure. Uh, so that is really tall. We're, we're getting closer Humble to it, still pretty large. Stone. Great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? Think so? I don't know. My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tor, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? <laughs> That's an interesting way of explaining it. Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. <laughs> Come on then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Uh-oh. Oh. What's up, Sandy? Is Sandy gonna climb it with us, though? I, I really don't know. Oh, gosh, we got the little blobs. Luckily, we already have a sword on our back. Ah! Monsters! They're coming this way. Oh boy, so we got our first battle already. A group of slimes draw near. So I don't know how much of a traditional RPG this is. I think it's super traditional. So it is just turn-based RPG. So that's where I'm like, I haven't really played too many games like this uh, for you guys. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts on if you, know, you want to see more than just this first episode. I feel like I want to, oh no, don't beat him Sandy. Destroy him Sandy. <laughs> Slime May is defeated. Jim at least does something. Slime B attacks, Sandy takes three points of damage. Don't hurt Sandy, you slime. <laughs> okay, I don't mind if I get damaged. I just want Sandy to be okay. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely interesting if we view our party status. Okay, we can only see ourselves right now. Okay, tactics. Uh, everyone, show no mercy, fight wisely, mix it up, don't use MP, focus on healing, show no mercy. Don't fret about MP, just give the enemy what for. Interesting. Okay, uh, attack, slime B. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, so I definitely wanna try it and sort of see. I'm not always the biggest fan of turn-based RPGs, but the, the older I get, the more I can sort of appreciate them, especially with like Pokemon coming up soon. I'm definitely gonna be playing that, and that'll be a lot of fun. I think that's usually the golden exception is Pokemon. The slimes are defeated. Zebra receives six experience points and acquires six gold coins. The slimes drop a treasure chest. It almost landed on us. Receives a medicinal herb. Well, thank you. Crikey, I wasn't expecting that. I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. Oh, and there goes Sandy. I guess Sandy knows that things are good up ahead. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Okay, 
Well, let's do it. I first want to go over to the monument thing over here. Read this if I can, because it seems interesting. Sorry, Sandy, we'll be there in a moment. Don't, don't run into any more slimes. We can read it. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land, spirits, hearth and home. Blessed are we since days of yore, let it be so forevermore. Okay, so it's a little poem. Oh, hey, look at this, a treasure chest. This is what I've been looking, up, looking around for, free stuff. Of course, in a game like this, if you find a pot lid, it's yours to keep. He puts it in the equipment bag. All right. Oh, and we can jump around too, so that's good. Let's jump down this way. <laughs> and that's just some flowers. I'm just looking around. Oh, here's a sign. Cobblestone Village, Cobblestone Tour. All right, so I guess we gotta go through this spooky cave. You'd think that would help us you know, starting here, but I guess not. Is it normal to have to deal with some monsters on your climb up? I guess we'll find out. I don't know if Jemmy here is supposed to be like a healer or some kind of magic type character or if not anything at all. All right, here's a cobblestone tour. Oh my, uh, we're already bouncing. I don't know how Sandy is so, so well equipped. Look at her go, she's wonderful. We gotta be careful. How are you doing back there? Where did she go? Did we lose her already? Oh no, she just reappears wherever she likes. Okay, what about this? Yeah, we can't go this way, or we can. Is this is this a secret? Oh yeah, if we take a look at the map, it looks like it. Ooh, yeah, there's something shining. What could this be? Got a medicinal herb. Okay, so it looks like right now we're getting a lot of healing items. That's fine with me, I, that's totally worth it. <laughs> I'll try my best to find as much stuff as possible. And how did Sandy get past that one? More monsters, but I don't think they've spotted you yet. You should sneak up and try to surprise them. Also, there's no way I can do her voice or accent. It's just not gonna happen. Preemptive attacks. Get close enough to a monster and a small orange arrow will, will appear abo just above them. Press X and you will give them a weighty wallop with your weapon. Lowering their HP before battle has even begun. Why not try springing a, a preemptive attap attack on that slime over there? Sure thing. Hiya! <laughs> one damage! Oh, well, one last damage I have to deal with. These guys are so happy looking. Like, well, what evil are these two little dudes are gonna do? Like, Hello! And there goes one of them already. All right, Slime B, you're going to be destroyed! Oh, one more. No, leave Sandy alone! Everyone was beat up on Sandy. Okay, come on, come on. Why did he get to attack twice? Not any longer, he does. The slimes are defeated. All right, four experience of four gold coins. Seems pretty good to me. I don't know how many we need for a level up. Oh, whoa. Auto run? I guess there's an auto run, but that's weird. I've been trying to mess with the controls a little bit. Trying to figure things out. So it looks like climb all the way up to the cobblestone tour. We have like a bit of an adventure to have here. And then there's like items, equip equipment, party talk. So like what if we wanted to know more about our party? Would that be in party talk? Thought, but... I can't believe the mon there are monsters on the Thor or on the tour. And on our big day too. It's a little bit worrying, but we have to push on. At least I've got you as a bodyguard, Zebra. Okay, so she'll just say random things that, you know, whenever we talk to her. Nope, wrong button. Sort of gotta get used to it. You know, the, the closest thing I have to experiencing this, of course, like I said, is Nino Kuni, which is a bit different. Okay, Slime May's gonna attack. That's fine, we're gonna attack back. Hiya! There's six damage. Oh, go B! You got it! Oh, so she used a herb. I hopeful, hopefully it wasn't one of my herbs. Oh, a coward with fear. <laughs> it better be afraid. All right, well, there's another one down. Oh, and we get a chest out of this one. It is a slime drop. Interesting. You'd think they would all drop slime drops, but apparently not. Oh, the water is so pretty. This area is wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and slice you. There we go. That should surely be helpful. It's, of course, more than one of them, as always. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool so far. And, uh... One thing I really like about it is the art style. I've been you know, talking about how good the game looks. Apparently the character design was done by Akira Toriyama, which if you don't know, is of course the guy who made Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, which I love to bits, so that's pretty cool. And I'm, you know, I, I do see the similarities, especially with even like Sandy here. That like Sandy sort of looks like some of the uh, dog character so that you see. Crazy. Oh, we got a level up in Dragon Ball. So that's like pretty cool similarities there that I really like. Level increase from level one to level two, maximum HP, all this kind of stuff. Oh, and a new spell learned, Frizz. This is our first spell then. Well, that's cool. Oh, let's keep following Sandy. Oh, there is like a speed up run button. That's good, that'll help me out a little bit. And attack, whoa. Why did they disappear? That was weird. I'll probably take on every enemy I can for now. That way, hopefully later on, I'll be a little bit ahead of the game. I sort of like being able to be a little overpowered, especially when we come up, come up against like boss fights or something. You know, I'm not the best statistician or anything. I'm not probably gonna be constantly 
finding the best items ever. I really don't know. I'm not really good at these kind of games usually, which is why I want to train up while I have the chance. Hiya! And the battles seem to be pretty quick, and loading in and out of them isn't a chore, so I don't mind too much. I think we'll be fine. Let's attack slime B. Ooh, seven damage that time. Look at you. Go at him, Sandy. I want to slice. We're to slice. Boom! Yeah, all right, the slimes are defeated. Okay, more good stuff. So I don't know how much experience we have. Hello, are you an enemy? You are an enemy! <laughs> I just like, I, I didn't want to slice at somebody who wasn't an enemy. Needlers, oh, because they have needles, that's sort of creepy. I don't like it one bit. I'll get to use my new move. Okay, that took you out right away. Needler B does a little dance. Sandy attacks! Okay, so, spells, frizz, sing, singes a single enemy with a small fireball. Okay, so, I only have four MPs. I don't think I want to do that just yet. I want to run into a more scary enemy. But it's a fireball, which is pretty cool. All right, so, oh, and we get a chest. For this one, we get another medicinal herb. I, th I think we're gonna get a lot of those to start things off. So are enemies spawning in behind me as I run around? It doesn't look like it, but I do see a bit of a detour. This is always good. What is down this way? I mean, first off, we got some pots that I can, oh, hey, got some stuff out of that. Can we swim? I mean, it looks like there's something leading off this way. Maybe at some point we can learn how to swim and come back. That's probably likely, I'd have to imagine. Okay, so there, there's some stuff to return to. That's pretty interesting. All right, Sandy, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hmm. Oh, what is this? This is something. Surely. A chunk of copper ore. Amateur itemologist awarded for collecting 10 different types of items. Nice. So I don't know if we get any kind of reward for finding stuff like that or if it's just, you know, random achievements. All right, more needlers. <laughs> they have like fancy little dances. I sort of like it. Boom! Will that take you out? Not quite. Oh, oh, so he healed his friends for 32 health. So he's gonna have a lot of health then, I'd have to imagine. All right, needler B attacks only for one. That's fine, that's fine. Come on, come on, Sandy, take him out. Oh, he's paralyzed with fear. He's like, whoa! Got him. There we go. And the needlers are defeated. I don't know if there's any kind of way to find out how much health or health the other characters have, but hopefully we can find out at some point. Like maybe there's like some kind of like discovery move or something, because that would make it a lot easier. Okay, so what do we got going on over here? I am not sure. Ooh, did we make it to the top already? Probably not. That'd be way too easy. Cool. Look, Look at, at all this fog. Uh, is this normal? Do you think? Probably not. Doesn't seem like it. Help! Help me! Uh oh. What? Oh no! Cole? Oh, the lady talking about her child. Yeah. Okay. Here's this kid. Whoa! What in the world is that thing? Quick! You have to help him. All right. I'll just swing my sword at it. Hopefully, it turns out well. Whoa! The weather's not really that good for climbing, is it? What is this thing? It's not fog at all. It's more monsters. <laughs> what a bee looks that bee. Uh, I keep on, because the Dragon Ball's dog name is Bee, and Sandy looks a lot like Bee, so I'm tempted to call her Bee. But no, her, her name's Sandy. Sandy looks so ready to fight there. All right, attacks. Actually, the smog, I think it deserves a little fireball. So let's try this out. Let's cast Frizz. Boom, nine damage, not bad. The smog attacks, ow. Oh. That hurts actually a lot. Now I'm a little worried. Oh, well, you missed! No! Oh, thank you for the herb. I appreciate that. Spells, frizz, hit you again. Because this definitely hurts a lot more. So we're all out of that now. Are we? Is this one of those battles we're supposed to lose? I don't know. This is a little scary. There's not too much more we can do though, except for you know swing and fire, fireballs. Oh, you gave me some MP. Very good. Because that hurts a lot more. What does this guy on the right do? He was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, because he's still paralyzed with fear. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this then, and hope I can get you 12 damage that time. That's enough to take you out. And then, yeah, hit him. Five damage, pretty nice. And then spells, frizz, got you. So right now I think he's disabled, because he's he paralyzed in fear. There he goes, and he's gonna attack. Okay, so the dog's barking at him. He, okay, he's back to being scared again. Very good, very good. So we should probably just hit him with more frizzes, because it does more damage, so why not? There's more, yeah, we got him! The smogs are defeated. Nice. 40 experience, 22 gold coins, that's level three. Very nice, I like it. All right, oh. I, 
I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. So basically somebody jumped out and surprised you. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. <laughs> oh, well, there goes Sandy. Sandy should keep the kids safe. But I wish we could you keep Sandy with us. Again. I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh, it's starting to rain again. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. Okie doke. So yeah, let's take a look around this area first before we climb. There might be something cool to find. You never know. And we did in that previous area, we found the chest. But honestly, this area isn't as big as it looks. Whoa, oh, trees are in the way. See, it doesn't seem like there's too much here. Okay, had to try. What does the sign say? Just these vines to climb and you'll nearly be there. Don't go losing your grip. Oh, well, that's very nice to say. Well, oh, it's already raining. Now, we seem to be pretty good at climbing. I'm guessing she's just gonna teleport right next to us somehow. Oh, wait, is this the way we're supposed to go? Yeah, we can't go this way. There's nothing here. All right, then. So what does this say? This way to the top, watch your step. So we're getting pretty close to the top already. This is quite treacherous. Like how young are these two? Like are they like I can imagine like maybe they're like 15, 16. And that's that's a little young to be doing such things. Like do you think that'd be like some amount of training? Looks like we're sliding down this way. I mean I know the purpose is to teach us how to play the game. Not much further now. Keep those to the cliffs. Or keep close to the cliffs. And don't let nerves get the better of you. Okay, let's get to it. I'm trying to look around for any more collectibles, just in case, but it looks like we're sort of, we're, we're making good work on finding them all. Don't have anything extra to grab here. But I wonder if you can revisit these areas with new abilities and get new stuff. Like, that's definitely possible. All right, the path to the summit. Let's keep climbing this then. I don't see any other enemies around. We don't have Sandy to guide us, though. I feel so sad about that. Here we are at last. <sighs> it's not really much of a it's view. Such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Oh, oh my. Well, we better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? Uh oh. Oh, what's happening? Oh no! Whoa! What is with this dude? Oh no, watch out! No, don't fall, don't fall! <laughs> Go get her! Help! Help me! Help! Help! Oh, here he comes! Oh, hold on tight! No! I don't know where the bird went. Come on, keep pulling. Uh oh, here he comes. This is not good. What? Whoa! What's happening? The mark on his on his wrist. Whoa! No, oh, no! <laughs> it fried the bird. Yeesh! That was crazy. Okay. We're alive. How? That that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. Sort of. Look, the mark on your hand. Hmm. Huh? Oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. So now they have to make a prayer, I guess? Humble folk of Cobblestone. Great land spirits, hearth and home. 
Lift your voices up in prayer. Sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. Oh, that seemed to work. The weather's clearing up. So what was the point of the whole bird thing? I like, I don't know. <laughs> bird just wasn't happy about it. Maybe she had a nest up here. Look. Oh wow, that is quite the view. It didn't seem like we climbed up that much, but here we are. It just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. Is that the reason that they do this? Is like the mark of growing up? That's, that's an interesting way of doing it. All right, well, we are successful. We made our way through. Awesome. So, Cobblestone Tour Summit. That's where we are right now. We can jump off. Let's not. But yeah, it really is big. There's lots to explore. I mean, a lot of this seems to just be mountains, but I'm sure we'll be able to explore it in the game some way or somehow. I like that. Very, very cool. So let's head back down, like they said. Do we do we actually have to run back? Libra and Gemma make their way back down to the bottom of the tour. All right. Hopefully everybody's down, okay down there. Maybe there was more than one bird or something? Oh, I gotta press the X button. It doesn't tell you that, but you have to press a button to continue. Oh, and here we are, Cobblestone Tour, the base. All right, hi everybody, we made it! How are you doing? Okay, so we can talk to Sandy. Woof, woof, woof. Thanks for bringing Cole back safely, Sandy. Good girl, I knew you could do it. Hello, this is Cole. I'm sorry, Gemma, I thought it would be funny to jump out and surprise you, I, I'm an idiot. I'll never do it again, I promise. Hello. My Cole told me everything. He told me how you fought off those horrible, foggy monsters. I don't know how to thank you. And you and Gemma aren't hurt either. Oh, that's such a relief. Well, the main thing is that everyone's all right. You can never be too careful with monsters around. We owe you one, Zebra, and Jemmy and Sandy too. All right, cool. So where are our grandparents at? That lightning was terrifying. Were you a lot of all right up there? I'm ever so sorry you poor things had to go through such an awful ordeal. It was fine. So, you did it. You've been to the top of the tour. Well, you'd better let the mayor know. Everyone will be desperate to hear how you got on up there. Don't keep them waiting, will you? All right. I mean, hey, if we find any cool things to get along the way, I'm gonna get them. Uh, when the lightning struck the tour, I must confess that I feared for your safety, but it seems that you escaped unharmed. Truly, we must give thanks to the spirit of the land who watches over us all. All right, cool. We'll see if there's a couple of the same people over this way. Yay, you're back, you're back. Your mom said to, to tell you she's gone home to make you tea. You'd think she'd wait for us first, but okay. That lightning was so scary, the sky flashed and there was this big bang, boom. Yep, that was the lightning. Well done, you two, so glad to see you're safe. All right, hi everybody. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> Zebra explains what happened on top of the tour. I, I, I don't know when to read and when not to. <laughs> Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Why are his eyes different from everybody else's? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. I am still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. 
I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. All right, well, time to head home. <laughs> Everybody's going. Come on, you. Home time. Okay. The Dazzle Element, blinded by the light. The Dazzle spell and certain other abilities can blind those they target, causing their attacks to miss the mark. This won't affect their spells, though. These will still fly straight and true. All right, so it looks like we just got different pieces of advice that I'll try to keep in mind at some point. But there we go. It looks like we got the tutorial done. We're back at the town at home. And so far, everything's turning out pretty well. I mean, there hasn't been any kind of conflict. It's been pretty nice and peaceful. The ceremony went, uh, I guess, okay. I mean, we made it out. And here we are in town. Coming of age, awarded for ascending to the top of Cobblestone Tour and completing the ceremony that signifies the onset of adulthood. So that's like a, uh, I guess, like an achievement. Cobblestone, so very, very cool. There's probably plenty more to explore of this game, but I think that's where we'll wrap it up for the introductory episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and like I said before, if you did, let me know that if you'd like to see more, or if you don't, I'm always all ears for that kind of stuff. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Dragon Quest XI. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Quest so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.